very, very first 11. Instead of having like 220 horsepower, we're out there and we've got like 500. Although, of course, it's only a 2.1 liter engine. Four speed gearbox, quite difficult to get the revs right for it. But when you're right, it really is right and it really whistles away. Here we go, we're on song a bit now, and away she goes. Tom bounces around a lot, quite a lot over the bumps. So it's due to the fact that you've got a lot of weight at the back and this has to be counteracted spring and shock absorber wise throughout the whole car because the actual weight distribution isn't exactly what one would call ideal. As soon as I tuck into the apex of the corner, start to feed the power on, the tail starts to come out. Initially, it's got a very nice neutral steer and then the power starts to come and out goes the tail. Of course, this was very much a compromised car at this time because a lot of work had to be done because Porsche actually hadn't built a car with so much power in the 911 chassis. And it took a lot of sorting out. And I remember driving them. They were wonderful to drive. And when you actually got it right, it was such a tonic for you because you actually felt the car biting. It was the first of the monsters. They were animal-like, these cars. These early 911 turbos finally evolved into a Group 5 contender, the 935, first introduced in 76. 